This video will cover the basics of doing the suspension level control calibration with the air ride suspension found on some Volkswagen and Audi products. When doing this procedure, the engine must be at idle, transmission must be in park or neutral, all doors must be shut, the vehicle needs to be parked on a level surface, and the system needs to be working to factory design. Once these conditions are met, start VCDS, click on select, then go into 34 level control. On the open controller screen, if the security access button is available, then click on it. If the security access button is grayed out like it is in this example, then click on login 11 instead. Type in 31564 and then click do it. VCDS will return to the open controller screen. Click on Adaptation 10. Go to channel 01. Field 1 will now display weight. The suspension will now adjust slowly. The vehicle I'm working with, this took about 90 seconds to do. When Field 1 displays value, you now need to measure the ride height at the front left wheel. Using a metric tape measure, Measure the distance from the center line of the left front wheel vertically to the arch of the fender. In my example, this is 400 millimeters. In the new value field, I type in 400, click on test, save, and then confirm I wish to save the value. Now click the up button next to the channel field to go into adaptation 02. Take a measurement at the right front wheel, again from the center line of the wheel vertically to the fender arch. At the right front wheel, I measured 403 millimeters. So for the new value, I input 403. Click on test, save, and then confirm. Click on the up button next to the channel field to go into adaptation 03. Now take the measurement of the left rear wheel. I get a measurement of 401 millimeters, so in the new value field, I type in 401, click on test, save, and then confirm. Click the up button next to the channel field to go into adaptation channel 04. Go to the right rear wheel and get your measurement. This time I got a measurement of 405 millimeters, so I type in for the new value 405, Click on test, save, and then confirm. Click on the up button next to the channel field one more time to go into adaptation 05. The new value needs to be one. Click test, save, and then confirm. Click on done, go back, and check for any DTCs. If you find any DTCs, clear them out. Take the vehicle for a test drive and verify there are no stored DTCs at the end of the test drive. For more information on this and more, please visit our Rostec Wiki website.